<laughs> I'm out of health. I told you guys I would stream some PT late in the night for a couple hours. You know what is good exercise? Well, you know what I do? I walk. I do nothing but walk. It's actually decent exercise. Hi guys, hi everyone. I'm so happy to see so many people here, like Nebel, um, you came back. Aunt Tony Game, you came back. I have a five o'clock shadow. You like it? Looking pretty bummy. I look like a bum today. Hey, you can't blame me. I played Silent Hill Origins all weekend. You can't say I didn't. I have video proof of it. I played uh, about all together 20, was it 24 hours of Silent Hill Origins? Two playthroughs? God. Oh, probably 30 hours, yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh, right behind me. It's a Halo of the Sun. I don't hear it. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Oh, I have the voice changer just for this. Oh, look at the cockroach. It's mating. I love the realism, man. This game still looks so good. Wow. And he said he tried to downgrade it and make it look worse so that it looked like just your standard indie game. And I'm like... I don't see how you did that. This game looks amazing. I don't see how it looks worse. <laughs> um, you can't see the bag over here because it's so dark. Also, you can hear in the ambience someone scratching on the walls. Chromatic aberration does make a world of difference, doesn't it? Also, the bloom lighting. You look at the light, you look away. Look at the light. The screen changes. Uh, it's like HDR. And then you got depth of field. All those things. Literally, the only thing I think might have been visually downgraded is the baby in the sink, but still looks good, yeah. They probably did visually downgrade everything. They probably had higher resolution textures than originally um, intended. But yeah, if you look at the walls, you can see someone, someone has been going through, or has been like trapped here, or, or going through this infinite loop. But there's a lot of scratches on the walls. That many? I don't know, a lot. Wow. This is such a- it's a disappointment now, huh? How many people are here are sad now after watching my review? And how optimistic I was about a Silent Hill game. I mean, no one thought that would happen. <laughs> yeah, nice hallway. Yeah, the pictures look like crap, and that probably was downgraded. Just the game. Round shot once in the chest from point blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Sex and death. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 911 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Now the story here is uh, all these people that they're mentioning, these m male uh, figures, they're, they were probably a part of uh, a bunch of secret underground experiments 
like the MK Ultra project. It probably wasn't going to go as so deep as like the involving the government, but it was probably going to be something based in Silent Hill. That there was probably a cult doing these or or a group of people, underground organization doing experiments on people, causing them to go crazy or hallucinate. P PTSD. Look at that detail though. You see cigarette butts, banana peel, all that looks so good and real. Oh, there's the keys. Why don't we just take the keys and get the hell out of here, right? It's not working. <laughs> um, this game is gorgeous. I have not seen a game that looked this good. Yeah, it's starting to age a little bit. But... How many games look this good? Not, uh, not many. Even Metal Gear Solid V didn't look this good. That's because they only had to render one hallway. So the resources were limited. Who are these people? They look like real people. Yeah, Moy Pew. I think it was going to tie into the overall story of Silent Hill, and it, it's not going to contradict anything. Because I, I can see it. I could see that, like, the cult in Silent Hill, you know, doing experimentations on people, you know, trying to understand uh, mind control so that they can convert the non-believers instead of killing them all like they have been doing if, and impeding their what they want to do. Bible. I mean, it, it won't contradict anything if it was like the cult doing mind control experiments. Yeah, that's a lot of pills. No, that's chocolate. Miracle chocolate. Is that what it says? Miracle chocolate. Oh yeah, there is a Bible. Probably four of them right there stacked up. Four Bibles. Can anyone give me a four Bible? <laughs> I don't know what they are. They're just books. Oh wait, add another two to it because I think there's two more Bibles. Thank you, FCOF. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love the rain. Very atmospheric. And the, the surround is, like, advanced in this game. Because even in headphones, it sounds like it's in a 3D space. It doesn't sound like, a, like, a, like normal games do in headphones. Advanced sound design. <sighs> One minute before midnight. And you know what this is? Someone figured it out. I didn't know what it was for the longest time. Flip it upside down, invert it, invert the colors, the brightness, and you get a tunnel. It's actually a tunnel that you like drive into if you're going into a mountain or something. It's one of those tunnels. This is the voice I'm gonna use for everything that's not spoken. My voice, can you hear it? The sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever, if you'll just come to me. The most important thing right now... ...is immersion. That looks good. So much atmosphere is created in just the rain, pitter-patter of the rain, and the creaking of this lamp. Those two things, and the overall silence, just makes so much atmosphere. Oh, and the buzzing of the radio, but you don't really hear that. I got Lisa outside the window at one point, and I had friends that never got that. Yeah, I get, I got it once. Now, I know there are photos you can pick up, but I'm not doing that right now. In fact, I don't think you can. I know, Catalytic Geisha, you're probably getting, like, um, I, you're getting, uh, what is it called, vertigo from this because of the head bobbing. Uh, I got Lisa outside the window at one point, and I had friends that never got that. Yep. I wish I could get my PS4 Pro, could get it on the DNS server to redownload this. I, I want to show my girlfriend so badly. Well, why don't you invite your girlfriend to this stream? 
<laughs> the heck? Alright. I'm just playing casually. I'm not just, I'm not playing to, uh, to fly through it. I, you know, I'm kind of taking my time and immersing myself right now. I try not to look at it, lol, I just listen to the sounds. The rain is beautiful. I know, it makes you, I, I, I want to sleep to this game. Well, some parts I don't want to sleep to, but... I could just leave the game running right here and be fine. She's a normie with regular sleep hours, and not a night worker like me. Oh. I can play a game like this, but I can't play EDF. Oh. I heard banging. What was that? Look at that detail on the walls. Cracking. The dirt. The, uh, overall just, uh, you know, it's, it's old house. You got the, uh, the paint, like, kind of rubbed off a little. Then up there in the corner, look at that detail. You can see um, little imperfections here and there. You know, like where the paint's coming off. You can see that it's a different texture wrapping around the walls there on the frame. You see a crack there in the corner that's going across. That happens in old houses. This detail, none of it looks like it's being repeated. That's what adds to the realism, the the subtle detail here. Look in this corner. You got a couple cracks. You got one going down in the corner there. You got a little smudge. And then on this frame, you got some chips in the paint. See those chips? That's a good detail. You examined every inch of the walls trying to find the solution to beat the game, lol. <laughs> well, luckily I know the solution, so we're not going to be doing that. I'm just looking because it just looks so goddamn beautiful. I mean, you see the... You know, that this could be cleaned off. I mean, that, that lamp base definitely looks like it could be cleaned off. It's just old dirt. And dust. Smudges. All this could be... You got the wrappers, pills, looks so real. You got the chocolate bar, that's one bite taken out of it. And you got more of this candy over there. Miracle chocolate. Phone, the pi picture frames. You got the spider web in between frames there. Amazing. And a picture of a young... <laughs> I told myself I would not get scared by this game. This game does scare me, trust me. You'll see me jump. It actually gives me the, the cold chills. You know what I'm talking about? This game gives me cold chills. I, I don't really get that very often from games. Memories come back. Is there anything else I should be doing or... Going back through. Okay, going back through. Oh man, when, when I get grabbed by Lisa, I have a panic attack. It's unsettling, yeah. I think Kojima could have done horror. Just, if only, if only things didn't go the way they did. Well, when you only have one hallway, of course that's gonna, um, you know, that's gonna invigorate people's... What is the word, actually? Oh, look at all the cockroaches coming out. It's creepy. That's gonna spark people's curiosity. You got one hallway, well, you know, it can't just be one hallway. So you keep going through it, keep going through it. 
and new things keep happening like this. Look at the cockroaches. Goodbye. Oh, great, the odd you were there watching people playing it. Now the cockroaches are on the wall. At least one. There's one over here, I think. See that one? The ambience is so scary! Uh. All right, good game. I had fun. <laughs> That's the first thing I would do. All right, cool. Yeah, um yeah, I'll I'll stay here. I'm good. I'm I'll be I'm good here. I I'm good here. Uh, oh boy, I wish I had a book. <sighs> Maybe if I read the Bible, it'll go away. Here, there's some right there. I'll just stay here and read the Bible. Look, it's Mr. Spider, guys. Do you see Mr. Spider? Spider. <laughs> yes, Mr. Spider is a good boy. You getting the tingle down there right now? Me too. <laughs> Not that kind of tingle. An all-over tingle. Can I go in? Look at that detail though, if you zoom in. Holy crap. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see the, the wood grain. Look at the detail on the cockroach. I have never seen a game with so much detail. You know, this might be a real place. Actually, maybe Kojima invented a way to build a real house and put players in it. You could take you could take any snapshot photo of this game and and say it's real. Uh, it seems. Don't open that door. Flashlight. At least I don't have to worry about reaching in there, right?
vegan pork, whatever you do, don't put your penis in the hole. I knew it would be something stupid and lewd, and no, I'm just joking. You can see an eye looking back at you at that hole sometimes. No, you can't. You know, it's you. Right? You peek through the hole. Oh, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. You're not kidding. I saw it. We need a jump scare. <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity for a jump scare right now. <coughs> oh! oh! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Alright, no. No jump scares. That gasp is a good jump scare, though. It does look like something's in there, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> it's contagious. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um, um. Occupied, please leave. I'm taking a shit! No, literally, I am taking a shit. <laughs> Sh you, you, you alerted the, the creepy thing. <laughs> Learn to keep your mouth shut, you fetus. It is the baby from Eraserhead. I mean, there's no question about it. But it's a reference, an homage. It's not, I wouldn't say it's ripping off. Actually, now seems like a good time to, um, to clarify. Um, I was thinking about it. What's a reference and what's an homage? I mean, what's, what's a reference or homage and what is considered ripping off, right? And I feel like if the plot is too heavily dependent on it, then it would be ripping off. But, if it's of no consequence to the plot, then it's a reference. Like in Layers of Fear 2, you know that part where you actually you actually see the two girls in The Shining in the same hallway, and it shows the same scene of them dead on the floor, and then back up, standing, and then dead on the floor. It shows that same thing. But that is a reference because it has no consequence. It's of no consequence to the story. So, um, even though a lot of people will say, ah, oh, it's a rip-off. <sighs> they recreated exact. So I think that... What's that? Hi, Mon. Yo, Funko, I'm in... I'm ha, bro. Oh, we came to the perfect game for this. For, for that. I wanted to say you were the best that Silent Hill video series. Thank you. Thank you, Mon. Which one? What was it called again? It was called, like, the real... It was like the real Tamaguchi, Tamagotchi, the real Tamagotchi experience. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't want to get DMCA'd, so I, I'm just being careful. The real Housewives of Silent Hill, that's right. <laughs> the real Housewives of Silent Hill, Uso Jin, thank you. How do I get out? It won't let me out. <laughs> Did I not look? Oh, I had to look at myself. That's right. And then the door opens when you're looking at your reflection. That's spooky spook. By the way, say hi to Norman Reedus. I know you can't see him. But it is Norman. It's hard to... to see. If you look, if you do this, you can see him. You can see him a lot better this way. Here. So you can see better. Can I see? Can I see his face? It's definitely Norman Reedus.
Oh yeah, they animated everything. There's so much detail in this small teaser demo that was free. And not a single, like, even like, uh, games with multi-million dollar budgets can't, can't put detail in games like this. Why? Because, because they don't have the statistics that show that games with a lot of detail sell well. <laughs> They're all basing it off st statistics. Kojima knows that they do. That's a lot of detail right there. Can I, you can't, no. I'm glad you can't. I don't want to be. I don't want to see my extremities in first person. I don't like games that do that. It really hurts my brain. Like, uh, there was a game I was contemplating getting. Uh, it looked like a Portal ripoff, but I don't remember the name of it. It doesn't have a catchy title. That's the problem. It, it's obscure. But you could see the hands doing this, and it's like I don't run like this, okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's called the turning test, Lone Man Kane. So you know what I'm talking about. I can tell. <laughs> Where are you? I'm getting away from here. Don't touch that dial now. Can't trust the tap water. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was 204863. 204863. Found the father in his car, listening to the radio. That's right, Joe's guy. Look. There was another family shot to death in the same last month, and in December last year, Meat to murder. Whoa, what? Um. Well, ain't that a pretty face? <laughs> that's the most, that's beautiful. Gouge the wife out? <laughs> I gouged her. There's symbolism here. Kojima gets it. To the people that think that Kojima couldn't do it, I say you're wrong. Because he understands. Oh. Look at the blood. Was that bloody napkin there before? Bloody nose napkin? I don't think it was. Now I gotta find out. I think people uh, lie to themselves to feel better about it. So I do have people come around and they say, ah, you know, I don't think Kojima could have made a very good Silent Hill game, honestly. And it's like, what what, what makes you think that? And, they're, ah, and they have all these things that don't really, they, you know, they don't really make sense to me. And it's like, you know, people just lie to themselves. They say, uh, Kojima couldn't make a good Silent Hill game because, you know, we're not going to get it. And you feel better just thinking it would have been bad. It makes you feel better about it. Because we're not going to get it. Look at the shadow. That's cool. Like, that is a realistic shadow. Very realistic. And it moves when you do. That shadow's really good, too. See, you got the double shadow. You got the one cast by my flashlight and the one cast by the, uh, the light in the corner. That's right, you're tearing me apart, Lisa! That's what this is. Forgive me, Lisa. There's a monster inside of me. 
Do you think he screamed to turn me apart, Lisa, before he ended it? <laughs> Double rainbow shadow? Yeah, it's a uh, cro chromatic aberration. Which does actually add a realism because cameras... Like, this is supposed to be a camera. Like, it's supposed to be like a movie. So, you do have the same kind of camera lens flares. You have a ch chromatic aberration, which is a camera effect. Oh, poor baby's crying. Why? Well, where's the baby? What? Oh my god. Did you know about this? I'm trying to hit the button. Yikes. I still hear her. Don't look behind you. I said, don't look behind you. I'm not going back. She's behind me for real? Oh, shit. Masahiro Ito mentioned recently he made some designs for an unreleased canceled Silent Hill game. I wonder if this was the one. Probably. I think this was it. Well, I don't know. It makes me wonder. Did Kojima get him for some designs? I don't know. I mean... Kojima did work with Ido before. Um, he he did the paintings in in Metal Gear Solid Four in the church and stuff. Uh, Watanuki spot with a bridge and a baby on a concept art. Oh well, there you go. What the? Oh, that is so good. After killing his family, the father hung himself with a garden hose they had in the garage. I love the audio. The audio is so good. And it tells you, after killing his family, <laughs> It tells you the story right here. In fact, what did he say? After killing his family, the father hung himself with a garden hose they had in the garage. And you can hear a muffled voice saying, umbilical cord instead of garden hose in the background. Did you guys notice that? The muffled voice says he hung himself with an umbilical cord. Pretty disturbing shit right there. I'm out of here. It's too scary. Well, they use audio design in this, kind of like Akira Yamaoka did. Um, the audio design is perfect. Also... Th there are themes of conspiracy in this. You know, what the what the media tells you may not necessarily be what happened. It's like, you know, like the media. We have learned. They're liars. Let's just say that. If you stand under the blood pouring out of the fridge, it splashes on the camera too. It's a surprising touch. Yeah, I know that. Oh my god. Oh, someone's having fun. It really looks like someone's banging and trying to get out. Oh, oh, oh. 
Holy God! <laughs> She's right behind me! <laughs> this game is scary. It's good. It would bring it brought breathe new life in a Silent Hill, don't you think? I'm getting out of here. Scary. The screaming. I can't. I can't handle the screaming. It's so sad that all the ripoffs of PT couldn't even come this close. It couldn't even come. They couldn't even come, like, you know, 10% close to this. And Kojima knows that, the fabs. That's why he did it. Because we are hardwired to become anxious when a baby or a child cries. Or get angry. Some people are hardwired to, like, get angry and want to murder a child when they hear them scream. <laughs> when you get older, when you get older, your brain develops paternal instincts that make you, uh, more stressed to hear something like this. I'm getting out of here. See, look at how it, shake it was shaking harder, and now it's not. It's like once you pass it- Oh, there it goes again! <laughs> there it goes again! Alright, 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 I'll pass, I'll pass. See how it calms down? When you pass by it? Or is it- Or is it just on a loop? I think it's on a loop. Yeah, that really kicked. The best ripoff, in my opinion, is Allison Road. But Allison Road, we don't even know if it's ever going to come out. It had a lot of developmental issues. Development issues. Visage is terrible. I don't know why people were, were praising it earlier. They updated it recently and then everyone acted like it was great. I hated it. I tried streaming it, remember? It was just awful. Uh, let's get through this part. We're sick of the baby crying. Man, it's shaking even harder now. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! I'm getting out of here. I'm going through. Is it still going on? Okay, there, there must be something I have to do to end the loop. How do I end the loop? Yeah, we could do that. Alright, let's do it. I can hear them calling to me from... Hello? Hello? But there's an L there now. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Who thinks Lisa's scary? <laughs> Hell?
Lo and behold! The completion of this puzzle. Yep, the head shaky thing. But they did it right, because this thing is enigmatic. Like, remember before I said, if you're going to do the head shaking thing, you know, like, the reason why Jacob's Ladder got away with it is because the faces were obscured. But they get away with it here because the face is disturbing and frightening as all hell. <laughs> and it's enigmatic. I mean, it's a spirit. It's, it's, it's creepy looking. Ooh. My song. Whoa. Mm, I love this song. Yeah, seeing some of that at the end of the hall and then just disappear like that. Pfft. Or or sometimes she flies at you. That's where I get chills. Oh, what do you say? What is? Oh, I got the translation here. Let's let's translate it. It says, "Close your eyes." Should I use a voice for this one? Test, test. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, no. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'll do that voice. Do that voice. This one. This one. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna read it. You ready? I don't know if I can handle this any longer. Um. Close your eyes. Let your ears listen to the radio. Do you hear my voice? Can you hear your own soul scream? Let us choose my voice that tells the future. Or your tortured mind. Well, what do you choose? You can choose your life, your future. Wise as you are. Wait, wise as you are, you might. Wise as you are, you might already have discovered it. Yes, the radio drama from 75 years ago was true. They are here on our Earth, and they monitor and see us all. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust the police. They are already controlled by them. That's the way it has been for 75 years now. Only our best will prevail. You have a right. A right to become one of us. So. Welcome to our world. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension will open. Two, zero, four. Wait, what is it? Two, zero, four, eight, six, three. Two, zero, four, eight, six, three. It's creepy. It's creepy shit. Um, it kind of reminds me of an alien invasion thing, like an uh, invasion of the body snatchers, kind of. I don't know where it's from. Yeah, it's basically saying, like, you know, don't trust anyone. They're all in on it. They're controlled by them. That's how it's been for 75 years. What happened in uh, 75 years ago? That's when the MK Ultra stuff was starting to happen. Right, Nibble? Let's make more sense. But I don't think it was going to be specifically about the MK Ultra. It was going to be a, an organization in Silent Hill that was doing experiments like that. So it was going to be a parallel to the MK Ultra, but not necessarily historical, historically accurate. Yeah, this is the war. Uh, isn't it the War of the Worlds radio thing? They told this story. Um, they used to tell stories, like read books or whatever. 
Um, kind of like Audible. <laughs> they used to do that over the radio um, back in the day before TV. And they used, this was very, very big, I believe. This was very big. This was like people uh, took it as uh, an actual broadcast, like a real thing. Yeah, people thought it was real and they freaked the fuck out. So that's kind of what it's referencing. It's in Swedish because Kojima understands subtlety. Not everyone speaks Swedish, but if you speak Swedish, I mean, it's still weird, right? But didn't want it to be obvious and wanted people, like he said, he wanted people to get, her, get together to decipher it. And of course, it takes a Swedish person to translate this, and PewDiePie did that. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he made it, if he translated it to Swedish, because PewDiePie was the biggest horror Let's Player. I wouldn't be surprised he did it for that reason. Because he wanted, he wanted that translation. He wanted people to work together. Oh god, what is going on now? <laughs> He probably knew. Um, he knew that he PewDiePie is the biggest one, and he he knew he would be playing it. So translate it to Swedish. But there are other languages used in this game. Oh my God! There's a bear that wasn't there before, was it? Was that bear there before? Who oh boy? I need thirst. Quench my thirst. Oh, what's going on? I don't remember seeing it either, but it was there, I guess. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. Now you can see it. A little bit better. If you stand in the right spot, you can definitely see it. It looks funny. <laughs> do the hustle! Do the hustle! It's Norman Reedus. It's pretty obvious now. Makes my eyes hurt. Oh, sorry, catalytic ish. Run, Reedus, run! It does uh, look like a part out of fan fiction, but I, I don't know. I've I've heard of a, a lot. I, I actually most I haven't even seen a fan fiction do pull this off as well. So um, you know. I'm gonna just keep running, I guess. There's no escaping. Silent Hill No Escape. That's probably what you mean. Because Silent Hill No Escape did this. Thought I heard something. I love the ambience. Oh, you mean the blur made your eyes hurt, Geisha, right? Like, this blur is just ah oh, awful. It's not that bad. I'm just, just a casual playthrough, guys. I'm just seeing if anything different happens. I know the the holes there. 
That's what makes this 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 game so awesome, is that you just w you're encouraged. You want to keep exploring because it's like I want to find that secret. Whew. Yeah, this part is kind of confusing. You just find this. How are you supposed to find that with all the like? See how blurry this is, and you're running fast. How are you supposed to find a little hole in the wall? Here we go. Our society is rotten to the core. Right there is a su is a subtle subliminal message from Kojima right there. But also it's relevant to the story. That's 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 Instead of showing it, they leave your imagination to imagine what happened there. I mean, I used a lot of audio. I mean, it's pretty obvious what happened. No turning back now. I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, that's why the subtle, the subtle, um... Here we go, I'll, I'll read what it said. It said, I got a message for all you folks down there in Radioland. Now's the time for action, our society is rotten to the core. I'm talking to you... I'm talking to all the fine, upstanding folks, got their welfare cut, cut got their jobs pulled out from under them. Yeah, you. You know what to do, now's the time to do it. That's a subliminal message from Kojima, because I think when he made this, he knew he he was going to be leaving Konami. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. Was the audio fine? Like the background audio for PT? Because I want it to be loud enough. Feels like it hasn't been loud enough. I'm gonna turn it up a little. Oh, uh, why? I know how to avoid Lisa, trust me. But yeah, I need to get grabbed by a Lisa. I mean, you know, what's a playthrough of PT without getting grabbed? Oh, I love this part. Where everything kind of settles back into reality. You know, that was a weird trip, right guys? <laughs> I'm never doing shrooms again. I'll tell you that. Hell no, not doing shrooms again. I learned my lesson. Oh, Lone Man Kane, I'm going for now. I need, I need to head out and make a shopping trip. Okay. Sorry. Well, have a good trip. And, uh, hope maybe, maybe I'll be online when you get back. I, I sure hope not. <laughs> uh, also let Ape take you on a trip again, Fungo. Okay. Also, let Ape take you on a trip again. I don't know what that means. I can't believe Lisa didn't grab you, and then the most famous, most brilliant Kojimbo. <laughs> Kojimbo. Don't mix LSD, shrooms, and coke kids. Well, that's probably what you'd see if you did. You would see yourself walking in front of yourself. You'd be like, I'm having an out-of-body experience right now. So dark. So dark. Poor looking mist, so clean, or a pure road. That doesn't apply to this game. <laughs> so. It's raining again. Oh, I love that. So realistic. 
Um, you know, the illumination of, uh, of, uh, you know, what the fuck? What's going on? It recreates the illumination of, of light through a chandelier very well. Like all the so poor, too dark, poor looking mist, so clean or pure road. It's terrible so much. So? What? No, it is not. It is not terrible. 204863. 204863. 204863. My game broke. Well, I'm calling Sony. Hello, Sony? My game broke. Are you playing PT? Yes. It's supposed to happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what about this? This game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. And then a bunch of other j mumbo jumbo. What was that? Why is it telling me that now? <sighs> my jewel is my phone. Hello? Sony? <laughs> 7780's studio. 7780. Hmm. The game's not over yet. We're halfway. <sighs> yeah, it's a fake ending. Well, it makes you think, oh, that's it? But then you keep going, and you realize there's more. And then it makes you want to play forever! Because you always wonder, is there more? 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 There's got to be more because there was more last time. And then that's how you find the secret ending. That's how they encourage people to keep playing. This bag doesn't always talk for me. It's kind of a glitch. Alright. I think it talks when you get killed by Lisa. But there's a bloody bag. Yay! Alright, let's take a look at um, some of the other stuff here. Okay, there are different crash screens. Um, I only think it happens once, so... I'm gonna show you some... That I feel might be important. I'm gonna show you all the crash screens, okay guys? Because we're going to fully analyze PT today. And you've probably seen plenty of people try to do it. But it's fun, right? It's always fun. Uh, oh man, the marks on the wall. For, forgot, forget about them. What did I forget? Oh, what time is it? Great the odd that then you should be proud of yourself, right? You should be totally proud of yourself. Let's look at the other ending crash screens here. Knowing you, I was sure you'd notice this game and play it. I will never, can never, forget that day twenty years ago. I have something to tell you. Contact me, Jay. Yeah, Jay. That's the only time they give you an indicator of what the person's name would be. Um but if you realize that this whole game, basically, 
I don't know, it sounds like a conspiracy, but I really believe it. It's a um, subliminal message from Kojima. I mean, his birthday is in it. He he uh, he does it does a lot of it does apply to a situation with Konami, but who knows what happened 20 years ago? Maybe it is relevant to just the story, but I doubt it, because Kojima does like doing parallels to like, you know, having double meanings. You know what they say about overthinking? Ah, uh, no, this isn't overthinking it. <laughs> I know Kojima. Also, did you know about this? You, you zoom in on the menu and you can uncover the one piece of the picture. Of course you knew about that. That is so crazy that he thought of hiding something in the menu. What the heck? Oh, then we got a some language on the screen. Uh, Kojima is the one who overthinks things. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's not my fault. But hi, Gaga Somnia. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Junji Ito was also. Yeah. Maybe it has to do with Junji. I mean, what was going on with him 20 years ago? Oh. But they don't really use first names. Death Stranding is going to be good, I agree. Am I Ava? Am I Ava? Oh, 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 there she is. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Keep calm, Fungo. She's not right behind you. I'm not turning around. Can't make me. Oh, I got a man who's oh, I hate you. <laughs> She's eating me. Or did she pee on me? I'm not really sure. <laughs> She's like, ah, I'm piss on ya. Hmm. That, that that did scare me actually. <sighs> Neville, fuck! I got you all like I pulled you all in for that jump scare, didn't I? Cars are scary. Welcome to the stream. That's how I want to go. That's right, Shapuki. I heard some unzipping there. Yeah, it sounds like she unzipped and just started peeing on me. Sometimes this doesn't play. Or it cuts out like that. I walked. Here, let me help it. I'm gonna help it out a little. And I'll give it a voice. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna help. Hold on, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm gonna help. I walked. I could do nothing but walk. And then, I saw me walking in front of myself. But it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? There we go. Did that work? There we go, we, we fixed it. Good enough for you? Okay. I just hope I didn't have some weird voice <laughs> accidentally selected. So, what'd you say I missed? The scratches? Someone said I- oh, was that Neville or someone? I need to transfer this to my pro. We'll do it. Be a pro. Oh, are there more scratches? Someone highlight that, or is it too late? I could do it later. Because you can see a legit jump scare. Fungo jump scared. I'm still coming down after that, you know?
I got one. Uh, it's her eye. <laughs> there you go. I got one baby laugh, and I didn't even try. There's a fear was so, so inspired by this. But at least they were creative enough to do their own stuff. Layers of Fear was creative. But you know what wasn't? Visage was awful. I didn't like it. Seemed like everything, they just copied PT. That's all they did was just copy PT. And then they added Baba Duke to it too. Let's get the other pieces of the picture, huh? Gaga, uh, Gaga Somnia, I'm new, I'll figure it out. Love how you guys keep uh, Silent Hill alive and relevant. Well, I have never played a game quite like Silent Hill. Um, and so, you know, I was just, uh, I guess you could say enamored with the series ever since I, per I played the first one. Um, and I, I decided to come over here on Twitch. I'm, I'm, I was a YouTuber until uh, a couple months ago. I was just doing YouTube. I'm all right on YouTube. I mean, in fact, here's all my social. Um, I do have 117,000 subscribers on it, and I do a lot of content uh, involving Silent Hill, Bloodborne. Oh my lord. She's getting closer. Uh, please don't! Not again! Not again! <laughs> Just cover your eyes. I think... I heard footsteps behind me. <laughs> oh god, she's behind me. <laughs> See, if you hear her behind you, don't turn around. That's why it says, turn around, I dare ya, on the radio. It's a reverse manipulation, because if I turn around right now, uh, I would probably regret it. So how many of those photo pieces I got? Need two more or something? I know there's one here. I think I got it. There's one up in the crack in the corner here. Yeah, no? I thought there was. I thought there was. Maybe I got it. I guess I got it. Or maybe it's this one. Ah, ah it's this one. This game's scree. Yeah, Fatal Frame's pretty good too, Faye. Hold on. I want to catch up on chat. <laughs> what do you think about the new Blair Witch game? I'm worried about the jumps, or the scare jumps. I want it to be a bit more subtle. I think it's the layers of fears, uh, layers of fear guys that's making it right. Um, they, they're not very subtle. Um, it's it's not going to be subtle. So, if you wanna if you wanna play it, if you can handle the blatant imagery and stuff, then yeah, um, you should know what you're gonna get. Everything's far from subtle nowadays. Maybe I shouldn't be sitting here just talking. While Lisa is breathing down my neck. 
Lisa. Oh, there she is. Freaky, freaky shit. Whew. I think my heart stopped. You know, Far From Subtle would be a good development studio, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's a Blair Witch game they announced. The only horror game they announced at E3. <laughs> as far as I know. Unless you want to count Luigi's Mansion. Forgive me, Lisa, there's a monster inside of me. Ah, oh, I missed the one, but it got red now. One more, one more picture or two. Oh man, I have two more to get. That's all red. I thought I got this one. Okay, what am I missing? It's harder to see when it's all red. Oh, spider. Are there two of them? There's two spiders now. Yeah, uh, it's not Mikami, but yeah, Mikami's leading the studio. He just came out to announce it. But Ghostwire Tokyo looks really good. I forget the name of the person who's directing it. Mikami runs the studio. He doesn't really do... He doesn't have any real involvement in his games now. He's just trying to make sure... He's just helping Tango take off. He wants his studio to take off and make, you know... And just runs the development of game, uh, of everything. There we go. Need that one, but I also need another one. Hey, Rick and Backer, I didn't even notice. Uh, playing this with headphones on. Oh my god! I told everyone earlier that it, it's it does surround better than any other game that I've ever played in headphones. Like you, it actually feels like a 3D space around me. Okay, where's the other uh, one that I'm missing? I know, he might as well be watch playing this in VR right now. Because it, it already looks like, you know, that good. I don't need the VR gimmick. VR gimmick is just that, it's a gimmick. I can immerse myself in a game without VR. Some people can't. Your mother was decent, but too much sneaking for me. I haven't played it, but I've heard it before. Oh, you're talking about the sound gray. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, where's the other photos? And sometimes it flashes things on the screen like that. And that's kind of what Kojima wanted. Kojima wanted fans to get together and theorize. Um, and, and tr help each other by translating what they see. Foot of the alarm clock? Really? Oh. I forget that one. Thank you. And Hawkeye. And Fabs. It's Fabs first. Now, the, the requirements to get the ending are pretty simple. You want to know what they are? Very simple. Good job, guys. We did it.
PS4 controller does if you have a headset plugged in. This is why I'm gonna get a headset plugged in. Alright, I'll, I'll probably go look for one. There's backward and hidden messages I wanna bring I wanna bring up to everyone, okay? But I, I wanna do it in-game so we're not completely tearing ourselves out to do it. I changed my mind. I, I might want to pause the game. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. Stop following me. I think I'm safe in here. She can't get me in here. Um, we share an instant of private darkness. Those things that have been popping up in other languages, these are the messages. All hints to get the secret ending. Here we go. I walked till I stood one pace before Jack. The moment our hands overlap, we share an instant of private darkness, heart pounding. And then you got these in different languages. Um, his, her touch, cold like marble. And then it says here, so much that he was trembling. I whispered his name. That's why you have to whisper the name. And the knight took the sound of his voice away. Who goes there? <laughs> she does want me. Gosh. Maybe, maybe she's a metaphor for, uh, or symbolic of uh, catalytic geisha. <laughs> and the fabs. A metaphor for my Twitch followers. No, I'm just joking. Um, it's the sexual frustration. So... Let's try using these, using these hints. Some you have to translate. Let's, let's go ahead and try it then. How many paces? I remember it said I took 10 paces, or I took one, I stood one pace before Jack. I used to be able to, uh, I mean, it's been so long. I used to know the exact requirements. Like I, I could tell you why and everything. But you know what? As you play, the game will throw hints at you. So the longer you're lost, the longer you're stuck, the game keeps throwing hints at you. Okay. All right, we'll go through the door then, and then we'll figure it out. My last date was worse. Did you date Lisa? You have to wait until midnight. I know there is a hint that does say that. I'm gonna pause and go get... Well, you know, I'm gonna leave it running. To scare ya. I'm gonna go get my mic. <coughs> yeah. Sex and death. Headphones. I had to dig through a box. The sharper image, no less. The sharper image. <laughs> That's how you know they're good. The fog is really one of the most important things. To show the environments clearly is not necessarily a good way. Um. Hold on, I'm getting ready. We're going ghost hunting, guys. We're going ghost hunting. All right, are you ready? Are we gonna do this? We're going ghost hunting. Put on your night vision goggles. Get your, uh, There she blows. All right, guys, let's do this. 
March on! Oh, jeez. Sorry, there's a little bit of delay there. And now I think she's behind me. Get the voice box. Voice box. Ghost Adventures with Fungo. By the way, I am uh, the country's leading uh, paranormal uh, psychologist. Um, I, uh, I help people, ghosts like these, departed souls. I help, uh, I help them resolve their problems. I put their spirits to rest. Um, I'm huge? Oh, thank you. I know, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's not the first time I heard that, but thank you. Um, right! We're gonna, we're gonna get this ending. Sex on death? Oh, Lord! All right. Lisa, if you are here with us, speak in to the microphone. Lisa, if you hear me, acknowledge your presence, Lisa. Oh my god, guys! My tea just moved. When I set it down earlier, it was here. And it moved to here. There's, I swear, there's no magnets. <clears throat> Lisa, are you mad about what Jack did? Lisa, what happened 20 years ago? Uh, did she say something? Oh my god, guys, did, did it come through? I didn't hear it, but it, did it come through the live stream? Maybe she's speaking directly to the viewers. <sighs> this is too real. Lisa, are you looking for your lost child? What is truly binding this spirit to this world is her lost daughter. I think it was a daughter, but... Lisa, is it your daughter you are lurking for? You're lurking for. I get it? Because she's lurking. Lisa, is this your daughter? If that's the case, I am sorry. behind me okay paranormal phenomenon right guys we need to figure out how to communicate with her I'm gonna do ten steps Lisa Tell me what I am doing is helping. I know, it's shocking. Lisa, just tell me, what do I have to do to set you free? Jack? Jack. Joseph. Johnson, Jack, Johnson, Wang, Joseph. Oh my god. Is it even working? Are you muted? I don't know, it might be muted. Hold on. No, it's not muted. No microphone that you can use.
Why not? Ah, oh, there we go. Now it says none. It's finicky. Hello? Hello. Oh, it's got a short. <laughs> Testing. 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 This is the doing of Lisa, guys. That just sounds like noise. Hello? How about now? No, it's just bad. Alright, that's why I have another headset. <laughs> ah! Stupid thing. This is why I... Uh, why didn't I just throw it in the garbage, honestly? Sharper image, guys. This doesn't work. I don't know what to say. I can, I can really hear it. It's weird, it's weird talking, talking over it yourself. Talk 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 I, I think, I think it's, good. it's good. I'll definitely get the ending now. Hey, you know those paranormal ghost hunters look just as ridiculous, don't you agree? I think this looks cool, like... if we're going to be visited by a ghost. What? That blew my mind. There you are. Joshua. Joshua. Jack. <laughs> Lisa, tell me this is a sign. Are you moving my controller, Lisa? <laughs> Who could be on the phone? You've been chosen. Me? Oh, maybe I won that car, that raffle for the car I, I filled out a couple months back. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> been chosen. A mic is fixed now, yeah, I, I, I've been chosen. I'm chosen. Here we go. The ending. I didn't loop. Something's crazy. Here it is. Dad was such a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Look! Look at that town. Oh man. Be so fun exploring that town. You know, this isn't a pre rendered video. 
This is all in game. They did uh, actually extract the town from PT. So they did actually prove this was all rendered in real time. Yep, this is real time video. Like this is actually, they built this town and it's in the demo. So yeah, all that exists in the game. We're seeing it rendered rendered real time. Man, it looks like a town I'd want to explore, you know? I'm sure it'd be really fun to explore. It's perfect timing, the cap. That's right, that's what everyone did. Everyone gasped. All at once, in unison. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm starting to get really teary-eyed. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, normally you'd be hyped for something like this, but then you, when you realize you can't be. <laughs> Don't get hyped, people. Just get sad and cry. Um, yeah. A humongous thanks to all my VIPs on Twitch. You know who you are. Followers, subscribers, gift subbers, bit chippers, chipping in tips, uh, kibbles and bits, the guy who brings in the donuts. Um, all you guys. You're like my friends, and without you guys, I, I would know what I'd be doing right now, so I really appreciate all the moral support you guys have been giving me. Also, thank you to all these patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me get through another month. And I'm sorry, subscribers, I have tried reaching out to you through a community post. I am live more frequently on Twitch now. I'm streaming up to four days a week, every Friday and Saturday night. I'd like to see you stop in, you know, for some good times. Maybe you'll have some fun. Maybe you'll laugh. Maybe. So come check me out. I'm probably streaming right now. Do look forward to more content like this and other videos as well.